So this video is based on popular demand on how to go about the billions of unclaimed dividends in the Nigerian stock market. Many Nigerians bought shares in the stock market, but have you not forgotten about these shares? Don't know what has become of them or don't know how to go about claiming the dividends that are due to them from these shares. In this video, I will share with you exactly what to do about your dividends and how to do it. But before I get to that, I'd like to explain to you how this dividend of a thing actually works. A dividend is a portion of a company's earnings distributed to its shareholders, either as a cash payment or in form of additional stocks. Buying a share of any company doesn't automatically mean that you get paid dividend. So please note that not all companies pay dividends. Here's an example. A small company that is still growing may want to invest as much of its earnings as possible back into the business to enable it to grow. And so such companies may not pay dividends. Also, a very mature firm or very mature firms that believe they will increase their, their value better by reinvesting their earnings may choose not to pay dividends. Now, any company that decides to pay dividends must first of all make profit, then keep a portion of that profit for ongoing business activities. The remainder is what the company will distribute to its shareholders as dividends once approved by the board of directors. Before 2018, paper dividend warrants were being distributed to shareholders in Nigeria when a company pays dividend. I believe you all know what the implications of this would be, right? Most areas in Nigeria do not have good address systems and people change addresses, right? The bottom line is that most of these paper dividend warrants never get to their owners and many of these shareholders never get to know when their companies pay dividends. That is why there are billions of unclaimed dividends in the Nigerian stock market. Now, let me show you exactly how to know if you have any unclaimed dividends and the step by step of what to do in order to claim them if you have any unclaimed dividends. The very first step is to search for your name, check to see if you have any unclaimed dividends with the Nigerian stock market. And the website to do that is the website of the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is set.gov.ng forward slash non-mandated. I'm going to go ahead and put this link in the description so that you can access it at any time. And when I click on this link, it opens this page for me. So this is where you search for your name and everything you need, instructions on what to do are all in here. But on this box, you can type for your name. I'm just going to search for blessing randomly, right? I will advise that you put your first name and your last name because when I put blessing, it's going to pull up any name that has any name that has to do with blessing, right? Different combinations of blessings. But when you put your first name and your last name, it's going to narrow down the search. If I click search, Select all images with tags. This. I'm just going to select this, this, hopefully that's all. Right. So when I search for just blessing randomly, it opens all of these things for me. And I must say at this point that this is a public page, right? Anyone can go in here and search for any name whatsoever. And all this information will be available to you. So it's public information. Okay. So if I search for blessing and it pulls up all of these things, Pick your name. There are so many more, so many more pages here, right? Search for your name and select your name. Once you see your name, take note of the account number, take note of the company name, and take note of the registrar's name. You need this three information to complete the process. So assuming I note down my name as maybe Africa Prudential Registrar, take note of it and click on here at the top of the page. Download your registrar's e-mandate form. If I click here, it's going to open up the page with all of the registrars, right? You've noted your registrar. You're going to scroll down on this page and you see all of the registrars with their different forms. Each form is specific to that registrar. So make sure you're, you're opening the form that is specific to your registrar. Assuming my registrar is all crown registrars, right? I'm going to click and open this form. The form is downloading here. So if I tap on here, this form will open for me. Now, this is the form I'm going to complete and send to my registrar or my bank. Every form has its own specific instruction. So make sure you follow the instruction on that page. If this is my registrar, I'm just going to put my passport in here. On this right side, I'm going to tick the company whose shares that I bought. I'm going to tick on the company and put the account number. 
right? And then the instruction here says complete all sections of the form, this form, and return to the following address. This is the registrar's address. So the form will ask for your, your name, your bank verification number, that's the BVN, your bank name, bank account number, and date of opening. This is important because that's where they're going to pay in your dividends, right? That's the account number where your dividends will go. If you scroll down, the rest of the information is just your personal information. Fill them in and submit it to the registrar as instructed. So this form is very simple. You don't have to do anything complicated. Just fill the simple form and submit it to either your bank or your registrar. That's all you have to do. I received a lot of questions on my blog when I first wrote about this on what to do if you found unclaimed dividends for a deceased family member. The process is the same, but the requirements might be different depending on your bank or your registrar. But the common thing is that they may want to establish a relationship between you and the deceased, fam uh, deceased family member. They may also want to have a power of attorney signed by all the members of the family. And they may also request to see the death certificate. Either way, just complete the form and have this conversation with your bank or your registrar to find out exactly what they require of you. Now that you know what to do and how to do it, I encourage you to take action. Even if you don't see any unclaimed dividends under your name, but you have your share certificates, you would get all the information you need from there and contact your registrar or your bank. Tell them you want to enroll for the electronic dividends, the e-dividend. That way, any, any future dividends that gets paid will be directly deposited into your bank account. The cost for this e-dividend registration is now 115 naira because the free enrollment, the free registration ended in February 2018. It might take a while after you submit this form, but continue to follow up with them and be patient. A lot of people have succeeded in claiming their dividends and you do not want to let yours to go just like that. There is a saying in my local language, Igbo, that says, meaning you don't become wealthy by throwing away that which you worked hard to get. So go ahead and take action.